वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल द नेचर एंड द वाइल्ड या आई डेंट गेट चांस फ्रॉम लास्ट फ्यू वीक्स टू कम आउट बिकॉज इट वॉज रनिंग टू मच यूर इन एम्स्टरडैम एंड देर वॉज नो गुड लाइट ऑल वॉज डार्क सो टूडे इट्स लिटिल बी शाइनिंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस कैन आर सेवन एंड सम ऑफ इट्स फंक्शनैलिटी लाइक वट आई एम यूजिंग आई एम यूजिंग द बैक बटन फोकस वाई दिस बैक बटन फोकस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट और हाउ वी गोना सेट इट अप and how it can help us uh, in our day to day birding life and also we i going to discuss little bit of the fv mode stay tuned with me okay guys uh, if you see i have a great cormorant just uh, sitting on that log i have it on my screen you can you can see it here i took it as a subject and Look at the focusing system of this camera. We're connecting to Sigma 600 mm, 150 to 600 mm, and this camera and this lens is works perfectly fine. It's still on the animal. If you see, the animal eye detection is on, which is just spot on, tracking the bird. It's nice uh, background, slow shutter speed. It's really fantastic. I really like this one. I'm going to do some customization, maybe. a bit more this look at this this spot on detecting the eye what a look so guys as i discussed at the beginning of the of the video i wanted to show you um what setup i am using i am using uh, on my canon r7 a back button focus which af on which i put it on my back focus what is the beauty of why we need a back button focus if you see this is my bird it's in focus i move my camera anywhere i put it anywhere and then as soon as i back my subject it just track it so that means the focus is locked but what happened before if you use use your shutter button the shutter button as a focus every time you focusing the subject the subject just turns out and and you move your camera and the camera and again back to the subject the camera had to readjust refocusing on the subject and that took a lot of time and lose um, lose the focus so especially for the birds who are moving and uh, fast moving birds like in the flight uh, it's pretty pretty disturbing to take a nice image of those birds so if you if you can calculate uh, your focus points and when you have to focus and keep consistent on that it's much easier to take the bird picture when they're in flight and but the static birds are is always okay if they are they're sitting like a, uh, like a duck they don't move a lot um then it's it's pretty much easier to use um your your shutter button as a focus so this is the beauty of setting up your focus on a back button af on and also also that gives you um enough time that gives you enough time uh, to select your your subject you know and uh, yeah of course it's it's little bit of time consuming but you just need to practice once you practice is good um you will never go back so i was pretty much um pretty much into the into the shutter button focus but uh, then st i started using this back button and uh, i i can tell you i just love it i love it so how are you going to achieve this back button focus on the camera so you go to the menu you go to your camera you see the icon then you go to the page number 3 you go to customize the button and this is your shutter button on the camera you see is showing here then select it the metering start that's it then press okay now you need to go to your scroll down go to af on button which is this button on the camera set it up with your this option this is the eye detection auto focus and also this going to focus on your subject okay and once you okay come back to your camera and it's done now your back button is the focus you can focus you see i press it and it's just focus this is another topic 
I wanted to discuss it with the flexible mode of this camera, which is known as uh, LV mode, which is flexible priority. You know, so this mode is 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 very nice with the Canon cameras. That's uh, pretty much you can control all of your settings with this dial button here. So what you need to do, you just uh, like if you go into, into into your ISO, if you want only want to use your ISO in auto mode and rest uh, you just have to move your button here that, yeah if you use your dial button you can move it and then you can just change it like I change my shutter speed here I put it uh, 50 let's say okay as, as much as you want all the three components here so you see I'm in the shutter mode but rest are my, my automatic I can change my shutter speeds as much as I want just to take the nice picture of this bird perfect then then the next is you can you you can use your aperture pretty much in the auto which also you can change with the with the back dial button and then with the shutter you can change your aperture and then you can move to your ISO which you can also change with this one dial so here is only one dial for all the stuff so you can see you can pretty much and once you keep the, if you are too much uh, say change the settings you can just hold press and everything backs to auto so this is the flexible mode which is really nice of this camera and you can easily ma manage pretty much everything with one single button This is pretty good. So using your back button as our focus and uh, the FV mode sometimes toggling between them give you more flexibility and more control over the camera, which you can easily use in your day-to-day -day birding life. So that's what I wanted to discuss. Let's go and um, get some bird pictures. So I will put them into the, my, my videos. Please comment and let me know what more else you want to know. And uh, thanks a lot. Let me show you guys. I'm in the, I'm in the FV mode. And I'm trying to capture this comment um, in my video. If you see the auto locking system, the eye system is works perfectly fine. There is no issues. Look how beautifully it's tracking the animal. It's moving, but it stick to its eye. So the animal tracking function of this camera is absolutely marvelous. I just connected my 1.4x teleconverter with my Sigma 150 by 600 lens, and look at it. The autofocus is working perfectly fine. It's fast. It's accurate. It does not move anywhere even the bird is moving consistently you see it's tracking the eye tracking the bird I love this one few people ask me how how this Sigma lens is working with 1.4x with your uh, with the Canon R7 it works perfectly fine yeah although 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 some scenarios it's a bit slow it doesn't move that faster but if you are filming or capturing a static bird it's perfectly fine even it moves if you pre-focus your camera even the flying objects is absolutely fine but normally in my cases I only use this 1.4x teleconverter most of the time with the uh, with the with the with the static birds you know which are sitting uh, nice. this is the end of uh, today's episode so we have gone through a couple of settings like back button not focus and also the FV mode on the on the Canon R7. I have connected it with my Sigma Sigma 150 by 600 mm, and sometimes I also used a 1.4x converter to make a small a small video of a great cormorant, which I will put into the into the into the video, so you guys can have a good idea how the autofocus is going to work on that part, you know. And uh, I also got a couple of different birds like a woodpecker, nuthatch. Uh, I'll put everything. Yep. And so keep supporting me. Thanks. Uh, like and share my channel. See you next time.